before I get underway with the Price is Right pricing and recap, please join me in a moment of silence for Rick Ducommon, spelled D-U-C-O-M-M-U-N. He passed away back on June 12th at the age of 62 years old. He was a Canadian actor who starred in movies such as Groundhog Day, Spaceballs, Die Hard, Gremlins 2, The New Batch, Last Action Hero, and Scary Movie. He died from complications of diabetic ketoacidosis in Vancouver, British Columbia. SportsGuy528 told me about that news. And by request of Meathead177 returns, a moment of silence for the nine victims of the mass shooting that took place at the Emanuel African Methodist Episcopal Church in Charleston, South Carolina. The gunman, whose name was Dylan Roof, opened fire during a Bible study and has recently been caught. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Price is Right Pricing Game Recap for Thursday, June 18th, 2015. Yeah, I'm going hatless tonight for this recap because I'm getting over a little bit of a sunburn that I got last Saturday when I was at Six Flags Hurricane Harbor with my friends. You can, in a way, consider this a hint of what my attire for Season 44 will look like. In the meantime, here were today's first four contestants that were called to come on down. They were... Janai, spelled J-A-N-I. Eric. Benson. And Mashiba. They were the first four contestants on The Price is Right. And at the handoff today, the awesome Amber Lancaster gave Drew the mic. Our first item up for bids was a Diane Von Furstenberg leather shoe collection modeled by the ravishing Rachel Reynolds. The bids were Janai $1,100, Eric $1,250, Benson $1,300, and Lashiba, $2,750. And the actual retail price of the Diane Von Furstenberg ladies' shoes, well, leather shoes, were $1,548. Benson is the first contestant to play a pricing game. Alright, so... How did things start off with the pricing games today? Well, for Benson... He's got a chance to win up to $16,000 in cash! Playing It's In The Bag. Or as Drew calls it, 
in the bag. All right, here were the six grocery products in this playing of It's in the Bag. We had a 90-count box of Ziploc snack storage bags, a six-pack of container of Crystal Light Pink Lemonade Drink Mix, a two-pound box of Arm & Hammer Pure Baking Soda, a four-ounce bottle of Children's Claritin Allergy Grape Taste Medicine, a 15-ounce can of ranch-style brand Pinto Beans in Spices, and a 30-count pack of Pond's Wet Cleansing Towelettes. All right. First for the $1,000 bag, marked $13.49, Benson chose the Claritin for children placed by Rachel. For the $2,000 bag, marked $0.99, cents, Benson chose the Beans placed by Amber. For the $4,000 bag, marked $6.49, Benson chose the towelettes placed by Amber. For the $8,000 bag, marked $2.49, Benson chose the baking soda, which was placed by Rachel. And for the $16,000 bag, marked $3.79, Benson went with the Ziploc storage bags that were placed by Rachel, and therefore... The lemonade drink mix was left out. All right, let's see how Benson did. For $1,000, was the children's Claritin $13.49? Absolutely. So Benson has $1,000. He can take that and quit or go on for $2,000. Benson decided to go for $2,000. So for that two grand. Were those beans from Ranch Style brand 99 cents? They were! And Benson just doubled his money. Again, take the two grand and quit or keep on going. Benson decided to go on for $4,000. And when Drew pressed the button to reveal what was inside the $6.49 bag, was it the talents for $4,000? Yes! The talents were inside the $4,000 bag! Now, did Benson choose to stay with the four grand or go on for $8,000? Benson decided to go! For $8,000. So, was that baking soda $2.49 for $8,000? When Drew pressed the button to see what was inside that bag, it turned out that it was... Oh, I don't know if you're going to like this. It was the baking soda! Benson now has $8,000! Wow! So now, the big question. Does he quit with the eight grand, or does he go for $16,000? Benson decided to go for the $16,000. Wowee! Now, I think we all remember the last time It's in the Bag was played. The contestant managed to go all the way for $16,000, but lost it on the last bag. It was those Crayola crayons that did the contestant in. Hopefully, uh, the same result didn't happen here. Uh, before Drew revealed what was inside the $16,000 bag, he asked Benson what does he do for a living. Benson said that he is in sales, so he is a salesman. Drew said that he wanted to give Benson a great sale by giving him $16,000. Well, let's find out. For $16,000, were those Ziploc storage bags for snacks $3.79? When Drew pressed the button to see what the product was, it turned out that it was... Are you kidding me? 
Is this really deja vu all over? First it was the Crayola crayons. Now the last bag for $16,000 contained? I don't believe this. It was the Ziploc bags! Betsy got it! He got the $16,000! I am absolutely surprised! What? Am I ever so happy? $16,000 for Benson! Yes! Oh, ho, ho. wow! I... I don't believe it! What a... Oh, my God! It is so great for it's in the bag to get a full $16,000 win once again! Oh, and Benson is the man! Yeah! Oh! <laughs> he did it! Ah! Right on! Oh! $16,000 for Benson! And including his one bid prize, he currently won $17,548 in cash and prizes! Nicely done, Benson! Oh! Oh man, that that was indeed a surprise and a very nice one. It's, it's really a shame that it's in the bag no longer plays the clangs and whoops whenever the sixteen grand is won. It just doesn't feel the same. Well, on to our next contestant that was called to come on down. That person was Glynis. And our next item up for bids was a Margaritaville frozen drink maker with a contemporary outdoor beverage cart modeled by Amber. The bids were Glynis $750, Lashiba $451, Janai $350, and Eric $751. And the actual retail price of the drink maker, along with the beverage cart, was $825. Eric is the second contestant to play a pricing game. And uh, when he got out of his podium, he kind of like uh, made uh, a long way up to the stage. He was uh, high-fiving the people in the part of the audience he was sitting with. One uh, member in particular, which I will get to in a little bit. And uh, eventually he made it his way up on stage. Eric was wearing a shirt that said, Her price is always right. And Eric was, was referring to his newlywed wife, Heather. She is the one whose price is always right. And now for Eric, he's got a chance to win a 10-piece Lazy Boy outdoor resin hand-woven outdoor furniture set, plus a 46-inch Sunbright TV, 1080p LED TV with one TV stand included, all modeled by Rachel. And Eric's pricing game is double prices. Now... The high price was $8,434, and the low price was $5,419. Eric, by looking to his wife in the audience, went with $5,419. I really wasn't too sure on this. I would have went with $8,434, no doubt. So, when... Amber took away the high price of $8,434 and Drew pressed the button to reveal the actual retail price. It turned out that it was... Well, $5,419! Eric is a winner! And I think by looking to his wife, she proved that her price is always right. She was the one who thought of 
5,419, and that gave her husband the win. And including his one bid prize, Eric currently won $6,244 and prizes. Two winners in a row. Great. All right, after the first commercial break ended, the next contestant was called to come on down. And that person was... Emily, spelled E-M-I-L-E-E. -E. I actually uh, know someone whose middle name is Emily and is spelled that way. Okay, our next item up for bids was a 32 gig Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge smartphone whose carrier is from AT&T with a one year of nationwide calling plan included brought down from the jewelry elevator. The bids were Emily, $1,500. Glynis, $1,199. Lashiba, $700 and Janai $1 and the actual retail price of the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge smartphone with that one year of nationwide calling was and these don't come cheap $2,135 Emily, who was the last contestant called to come on down, won her way up on stage to play pricing game number three. Emily wore a very cute shirt that had a picture of a koala bear wearing nerd glasses, and it said, I am qualified. <laughs> good, good one. Emily is from Salt Lake City, and Emily is qualified to win the following three prizes. They are a KitchenAid gas range modeled by Rachel, a foosball table with six foosballs included modeled by Amber, also modeled by Amber, a 23 inch HP Envy Phoenix desktop computer with one printer plus a Bose multimedia speaker system included. And Emily is also qualified to win a fourth prize. And you know what that was? Well, George said that it would be unbearable for Emily to win a new car! And it's a Dodge Dart SE. Comes equipped with a two-liter engine, six-speed manual transmission, convenience group, and front-wheel drive. It's the Dodge Dart, modeled by Rachel. And Emily is playing more or less. All right, starting off with the gas range. Priced at $2,000 was the actual retail price, more or less than $2,000. Emily went with less. And Drew revealed that it was less. Actual retail price, $1,549. Now on to the foosball table with the price displayed at $450. Was the actual retail price more or less than $450? Emily went with more, and no doubt this was going to be right. Drew revealed that it was... more! It was $900, the actual retail price. So it was uh, doubled the um, from what the display price was. Okay, on to the desktop computer now. Priced at $2,300, actual retail price. Was it more or less than $2,300? Emily went with more. But Drew mentioned that most of the audience was saying less. Well, if she gets this right, she'll get to play for the new Dodge Dart SE. If this is... Less, she'll have the gas range and the foosball table. All right, when Drew revealed whether $2,300 was more or less for the actual retail price, Emily said it was more, and it turned out to be... 
more. The actual retail price, $2,675. And now on to the car. All right. Dodge Dart SC's display price was $19,000. Was the actual retail price more or less than $19,000? Emily decided that the actual retail price was less than $19,000. And that felt right to me because, um, I don't know, I think this Dodge Dart SE has a very familiar price. But what do I know? So Emily said, the Dodge Dart SE's actual retail price was less than $19,000. If it was less, she wins all four prizes. If it was more, she still has the range, the foosball table, and the desktop computer. So, when Drew pulled the tab to reveal whether more or less was for the actual retail price, that wasn't $19,000. It turned out that the answer was Well, I don't know how to put it to you folks. It turned out to be last! And Emily has won all four prizes! The actual retail price of the Dodge Dart SC, $18,265. A very familiar price, like I noted. Well, I said, uh, that I said was uh, a very familiar price to me. Yep, Emily gets it all. The range, the foosball table, the computer, and the car. And she won $23,389 worth of prizes, playing more or less. And including her one bid prize, Emily currently won $25,524 in prizes. Is she qualified to be one of the MVPs of the Price is Right? Of course, she already is. <laughs> okay, now it is time for the first showcase showdown. First contestant to spin the wheel was Eric. Um, during his spin of the wheel, he gave a shout out to his quartet he's a part of called the Hippity Hopsters. Interesting name. And Eric landed on 70 cents for his first spin. Eric chose to stay. So let's see what happened to Benson, who spun next. For Benson's first spin, he landed on... 50 cents. So he needed to spin again. He needed 20 cents at least, but no more than 50 cents. And adding to the 50 cents from his first spin, Benson got in his second spin 75 cents for a total of $1.25. That 75 cents would have been a better first spin. Emily spun last, and for her first spin, she landed on 40 cents. So she needed 30 cents at least, but no more than 60 cents in her second spin. And adding to the 40 cents in her first spin, Emily got in her second spin 85 cents for a total of a dollar and a quarter, just like what Benson got. And Emily is over. But she won big and more or less. And Benson shouldn't feel bad about going over because he won $16,000. However, for Eric, he's on his way to the showcase. He already won his prize in double prices. He may end up winning more in the showcases coming up later on in this recap. Wow, so... Uh, we are three days away from the start of summer 2015. And um, just want to remind you all that next, this, uh, next week, four shows will be new. 
The only show that won't be new will be on Tuesday, because it'll be a rerun. All right, with that being said, on to our next contestant that was called to come on down. That person was... Madison! This was a man. Our next item up for bids was his and her Maui Gym Designer sunglasses with two sunglass straps included that were presented and modeled by Rachel in the middle of contestants row. The bids were Madison $500, Glynis $678, La Sheba, $400. And Janai, $679. And the actual retail price of the Maui Gym Designer sunglasses were $528. Madison, who was just called to come on down, won his way up on stage to play pricing game number four. And we learned that Madison is from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. He is representing Benjamin James Mason's country very proudly, without a doubt. And now for Madison, he's going to have a chance to win a Yamaha V1 fuel-efficient wave runner with Zyman trailer included, modeled by Amber. She wasn't wearing a swimsuit, but at least it was a female model that modeled this prize. Okay, Madison is playing flip-flop. The wrong price for this Wave Runner was $6,889. Madison could flip to make the price $8,689, or he could flop to make the price $6,898, or he could flip and flop to make the price Eight thousand six ninety-eight. So Madison can flip, flop, or flip, flop. It seemed like Madison was just going to flip, but he changed his mind and decided to flop. So he believed the wave runner was six thousand eight hundred ninety-eight dollars. In my mind, it was either going to be the flop price or the flip and flop price. But Madison stuck with flop six thousand eight ninety-eight. And when Drew let Madison press the button to reveal the actual retail price, it turned out to be... $8,698. He should have flipped and flopped. Uh, yeah, well, what can you do? Madison still has those designer sunglasses, and I think he would look pretty cool wearing them. Okay, our next contestant called to come on down was... Sanhaya. Almost sounds like that uh, once famous American Idol contestant, Sanjaya. Anyway, our next item up for bids was an American Tourister Lightweight Hardside Luggage Collection modeled by Amber. The bids were Sanhaya, $800. Glynis, $868. Lashiba, $796. And Janai, $1. And the actual retail price of the American Tourister Lightweight Hard Side Luggage Collection was $760. Janai, who used the $1 bid before, managed to get it this time as she is the next contestant to play a pricing game. So... What does Janai have a chance to win, you may ask? Well, it turns out she's going to have a chance to win two prizes. She's going to be playing Bargain Game. 
And the two prizes are a trip for two to San Francisco, California, Gipper Man's home city. It's round trip coach from Los Angeles for a six night stay in a king room at a world renowned hotel. And that was modeled by Rachel. And uh, before I go any further, I would like to give a shout out to Gipper Man for his Golden State Warriors winning game six of the NBA Finals back on Tuesday night. They defeated the Cleveland Cavaliers. And, um, sorry, uh, sorry Cavs, uh, you tried your best, but, uh, there's always next season, and, uh, not to rub it in, I don't mean to rub it in like that, but, and, uh, Drew, sorry about your, uh, home city not winning the NBA Finals. But uh, to Gipper Man, congratulations to you, Golden State Warriors, winning the NBA championship. And uh, the other prize that Janai can win is a trip for two to Washington, D.C., America's capital. It's round trip coach from Los Angeles for a six night stay in a deluxe suite at the Beacon Hotel and Corporate Quarters, modeled by Amber. Janai, by going over to the two trips, who wanted to get a, an audience's opinion on which trip is the bigger bargain, whether it being the trip to San Francisco with a bargain price of 3172 or the trip to D.C., whose bargain price was 4133 Janai ended up going with the trip to Washington, D.C. as her belief of it being the bigger bargain. All right, so let's start off with Rachel with the trip to San Francisco. Bargain price three thousand one seventy two. Actual retail price four thousand one seventy two for a difference of one thousand dollars. And now over to Amber with the trip to Washington D.C. And Drew had a little uh, reference of America. The beautiful by calling Amber Amber Waves of Great. <laughs> okay. Bargain price four thousand one hundred and thirty three. Actual retail price revealed by Amber Waves of Grain six thousand one hundred thirty three for a difference of two thousand dollars. And Janai is going to San Francisco and Washington, D.C. And <laughs> Drew continued with his uh, reference of America the Beautiful by going uh, for spacious skies. Janai wins both trips totaling $10,305. And including her one big prize of the luggage, Janai currently won... $11,065 in prizes. Way to go, Janaki. <laughs> oh, man, true. You always know how to make me laugh. Okay, our final contestant call to come on down today was... Nicholas. And his name is spelled N-I-C-K-O-L-A-U-S. And our final item up for bids was an 11-piece Kenwood car speaker package with one-year satellite radio subscription included, modeled by Rachel. The bids were Nicholas 1414, Sanhaya 1415, Glennis 1899, and Lashiba, $1,500. And the actual retail price of the Kenwood car speaker package was 
619. Give a little shout out to Rey Mysterio with his home city zip area code. And that means La Sheba is the final contestant to play a pricing game. And for La Sheba, it was probably worth the wait for her because the prize she now has a chance to win is a new car! And it's a Fiat 500 Pop Hatchback. It comes equipped with a 1.4 liter engine, 5 speed manual transmission, plus carpeted floor mats, and paint and fabric protection. It's the Fiat 500 Pop, modeled by Amber. Lashiba is playing Switcheroo. So not only could she win the car, she could also win these four small prizes over by Rachel. And they were a Honeywell portable fan a Remington ceramic curling iron, a Great Northern hot air popper popcorn machine, and a vegetable and nut chopper. The missing, well, the numbers that were going to be placed in the missing spots were 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And as we all know, Lashiba is going to have 30 seconds to place those numbers in the missing spots. So, one, two, three, go! Now, I, I will tell you, uh, Lashiba actually took her time placing the numbers in the slots. Yeah, it's only 30 seconds, but in a way, you kind of have to move pretty quick. But, um, this is what she put. For the car, she placed five, making the price $18,152. For the portable fan, she placed the two, making the price $25. For the curling iron, she placed one, making the price $17. For the popper, she placed four, making the price $40. And for the vegetable nut chopper, she placed three, making the price $36. So, when her time was up, Drew set pencils down, and we had to see how many did Lashiba get right. Uh, out of the five prizes, how many did Lashiba get right? Two. She got two right. So, Lashiba will be given another 30 seconds, and if she wants, she could make changes. Lashiba actually decided to take those extra 30 seconds. So here we go. She's decided to leave the car uh, with five, keeping the price 18,152. And she chose to place the one for the portable fan, making its price $15. She put the four for the curling iron, making its price $47. And she put the hot air popper number that was to be filled in with two, making the price $20. And she left the three for the vegetable nut chopper at $36. So, as this think music for Switcheroo winds down, let's cue the foghorn, signaling that Lashiba's second 30 seconds were up. And now, how many did Lashiba get right this time? Well, it turned out that she got. A big fat zero. None of them were right. Ah, too bad. Rachel revealed the actual retail prices, and here they were. The actual retail price for the car was $18,122, so it was the two. 
The portable fan was $35. So the three was the number there. The curling iron was $17. That's the one sh that's one of the two she had right before. And the popper was $40. That was the other prize she had right before. So she cha she had the curling iron and the popcorn popper and then she lost them in the second chance. And the vegetable nut chopper was $56. Ah. Uh, that was tough. But the Shiba still has the car speaker package that she can put in her own car. Okay, now on to the second showcase showdown. Madison spun the wheel first, and uh, Drew said that Madison looked very much like Seth MacFarlane, the Family Guy creator, and he really does. I mean, I'd like to have a little little split screen of uh, Seth MacFarlane and Madison's faces together to see the resemblance. All right, so uh, Seth, I mean Madison, spun the wheel, and for his first spin, he landed on 50 cents. Madison decided to spin again. Drew asked Madison if he does any of the voices from Family Guy, the characters. And Madison said that he honestly doesn't, uh, doesn't do them. So, what did Madison end up getting in his second spin? Well, he got 50 cents in his first spin. In his second spin, he got... Ah... Uh, 75 cents for a total of a dollar 25. Madison is over. Lashiba spun the wheel next. And for her first spin, she landed on a nickel. Five cents. Lashiba chose to spin again. Uh, very unlikely she'll go over, because there's only one amount on, on that wheel she will go over with. Hopefully she won't get it. It's the dollar. And for her second spin, Lashiba landed on... 75 cents for a total of 80 cents. So, that's her score. Pretty good one. Janai spun the wheel last, and for her first spin, she landed on... Well, 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 well. The dollar! For a $1,000 bonus! And that means Janai is getting a bonus spin! How do you like that? And uh, she uh, spun that wheel uh, to have that dollar land uh, almost uh, exactly in the middle. So Drew didn't have much adjusting to <laughs> place the big wheel on the nickel for the bonus spin. Now Janai only gets one spin in the bonus spin, as every contestant who gets a bonus spin uh, has to go by for the rule. So let's see what Janai did in that bonus spin. Janai managed to get that wheel all the way around, and in her bonus spin, the wheel landed on 75 cents. So she didn't win any more money, but Janai is on her way to the showcase. So she already won trips to San Francisco and Washington, D.C., and winning $1,000 on the big wheel can definitely come in handy for uh, some souvenir shopping in those two cities. You can spend 500 in Washington, 500 in San Fran. That simple. Divide it out. So, uh, we'll see who will become the uh, showcase winner as I give the results of the showcases in 3, 2, 1. Starting off with who the top winner was, it was Janai. The runner-up was Eric. Now, showcase number one, the theme of it was Picture Perfect. And it included a Leica Compact 10.1 megapixel point-and-shoot camera 
with one water-resistant camera bag included, modeled by Rachel. Next was a Triumph Thruxton A Special Edition motorcycle with helmet included, modeled by Amber. And finally, a trip for two to China, which is round trip coach from Los Angeles to Beijing, for a six night stay in a Superior King room at a deluxe hotel, daily breakfast, and one Great Wall tour included, modeled by Rachel. And these prizes can either be Janai's or Eric's if the price is right. Janai chose to pass that showcase to Eric, and Eric bid $23,000. Now for showcase number two. The theme of that showcase was International Picnic Day. I tell you, they, they've got an official day for uh, the most interesting things, such as uh, an official day for a picnic all around the world. Hence why it's called International Picnic Day. And the prizes in this showcase included... A 32-piece picnic set with one plush waterproof outdoor blanket included. A 36-inch road trip grill collapsible propane barbecue grill. A trip for two to Yellowstone National Park, round trip coach from Los Angeles to West Yellowstone, Montana, and then on to Big Sky in a rental car for a six-night stay in a Master King room at a luxurious rustic lodge. Daily breakfast and Yellowstone National Park admission for two included. The picnic set along with the grill and the trip to Yellowstone were all modeled by Amber. And finally, a Toyota RAV4 LE front-wheel drive SUV that comes equipped with a 2.5 liter engine and six-speed automatic transmission modeled by Rachel. These wonderful prizes in the International Picnic Day Showcase can be Janai's if the price is right. Janai chose to bid $32,500. All right, now for the showcase reveal, Drew went to Janai first. Janai bid $32,500. Actual retail price? Thirty thousand two fifty one. Janai went over, not by a lot. Well, Eric will win his showcase as long as he doesn't go over, no matter how far he's off. His bid once again twenty three thousand dollars. Actual retail price of Eric's showcase? Well, I don't believe this. Twenty-one thousand four eleven. A double overbid on such a great show. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, what a pity. What a pity. But, what can I say? That Those things happen sometimes, you know? And I believe this was the 10th double overbid this season in the showcases. Oh, well. This was still, still a, a great day on The Price is Right. We had four pricing games won. They were in It's in the Bag, Double Prices, More or Less, and Bargain Game. And a grand total of $17,000 was given away. Uh, Benson won $16,000 playing It's in the Bag. And Janai won $8,000 in the second showcase showdown. So the MVPs of The Price is Right are Benson, Eric, Emily, and Janai. And there you go. Now, Benjamin James Mason from BJNTV Canada has the following acknowledgement. You know, it always seems that $16,000 It's in the Bag wins only happen once a season. This was the fourth consecutive season this has happened. 
Maybe next season, more than one person will win $16,000. Tune in as The Price is Right charges on. Yeah, once again, I was very surprised that a full 16 grand was won and it's in the bag. But that's definitely something I can't complain. That, that was awesome. Funding for the Price is Right pricing and recap this week is provided by Hooters. Delightfully tacky yet unrefined. So tomorrow is the Friday before Father's Day. And, had, and as it has been tradition for over four years, Neil Rocks 87 will be joining me as my co-host. So we're looking forward on doing a recap together once again. It's going to be a lot of fun. Can't wait to do it. And I know all of you will tune in to watch it when it's uploaded on my channel. So that's going to wrap things up for me. Until tomorrow, this is Mr. Horgan reminding you to help control the pet population. Have your pets spayed or neutered. Good night, everyone.